Hi everybody, welcome back to Be The Drief, my name's Ross. In today's video, we're going to take a look at how I dip my corals in hydrogen peroxide. Okay, so hi everybody, thanks very much for joining again. Um, hope you enjoyed the previous video. Um, tried something different, don't know if it worked or not, but anyway. In this video, I'm going to do um, how I dip my corals in hydrogen peroxide. So, reason for this, um, this is what you'd want to do if you want to get rid of hair algae or any kind of algae as such. Um, if you want to clean up your frag plugs, you can do that. Um, it also helps clean up rock work and so on. So, long story short, a um, bit of a kind of nightmare to, again. So this all kind of stems from corals that I got from mail order corals a while back now. Um, I, I won't be using mail order corals again, that's for sure. But the corals that I got from them, they don't really look much like what the photos are. Um, never really have, to be honest with you. I kind of put that down to just maybe the way it was, but more and more people saying that. Um, there was an occasion where they sent out the wrong coral to me, um, and you know that happened to several other people. They'd advertise the coral, then that got removed, and so on. Um, then I got some aptasia on the corals I got from them, and then also some green hair algae. So it wasn't a great kind of service from me, Lord of Corals, on that one. So I don't think I'll be using them again. Um, but due to that, I've got green algae, um, sorry, green hair algae, as you might have seen in my last video on the fire and ice zoas. So I'll put that picture here for you to see. Um, and yeah, that's, it doesn't look great at all. So that's what I'm dealing with. Um, from that, I decided to do a bit of looking online and found out you can use hydrogen peroxide. So bought this bottle, hydrogen peroxide, um, food grade solution, this is from Amazon. It's only 3%, so this is a litre, and it's the 3% version that you want. I just got the food grade one, don't really know what the difference is, but I got that anyway. So. We'll jump into this, I'll show you how I do it, um, and then we'll take a look afterwards at some of the um, before and after pictures really, so yeah, let's jump into this now, I'll show you how I do this anyway. Okay folks, so first things first, um, I'm just going to put down this cloth here, make things a bit easier. So set that down, um, I do want to mention, remember handling zoas, you want to use your glasses and gloves, so make sure you put your glasses and gloves on. Um, Mine's on just now. Okay, so like I said, we're going to be using the hydrogen peroxide. So this is the stuff that I got here. Um, I got it from Amazon and NCS hydrogen peroxide 3% food grade. So this is a litre here. Um, it wasn't that expensive. I'll link it in the description below so you can get it anyway. But you'll need your hydrogen peroxide. Um, I use these little I'd say makeup brushes just to brush in between the actual zoas themselves. You'll also need some of your tank water. So this is water from the tank here that I've already got. And then you'll need some RO water as well. So if you get some RO water to rinse everything off then that's the best way to go with that. Okay so I've got my RO water here which I'll use just to rinse afterwards. So yeah, this is pretty much um, what you'll need. You can also use a um, small syringe, turkey baster, whatever you want to do, just to try and um, kind of blast the solution around a bit. So if you want to do that, you can. So the way that I do this um, might be slightly different from others. What I do, like I said, I've got the tank water here. I'll remove the zoas that I want to treat, put it into there, and then I slowly add some hydrogen peroxide into here, um, just a wee drop at a time until you start to see the bubbles forming round about the base of the zoas. When you see the for bubbles forming around about the base of the zoas, you want to leave that for approximately five minutes or so. Um, then kind of take a small, your small brush as such here and gently use it to kind of rub between the polyps. Um, you can use a turkey baster or syringe like I use, whatever, to try and shoot water in the stream. Um, then you want to take them out rinse them in the RO water and it should be good to put back in the tank. Um, so you can dip them kind of every second day for a week or so, um, which you can then follow up by a final dip if you want after the week. Um, some people used to use choose to use 4 and 2, but again 4 and 2 you can't actually really get here in the UK, so um, it's up to you if you want to do that, but you can dip them every couple of days for a week um, and then that should be them good. So. 
after you have done them for a week or so, I would wait a full week again until you dip them. If you do need to dip them again, but you shouldn't have to do that. You should only have to do it a couple of times, it should be done. So, yeah, um, I've spoke long enough here. I'll get out the, the saw that I'm going to use and we'll go from there. Okay, so this is the rock that I want to dip that's got the hair alley on it. So, like I say, hydrogen peroxide here. So I'm just going to add a small amount at a time to this. Um, you can add kind of 5ml or so at a time, it's probably the best way to do it. Don't want to put too much in here. A few moments later. More moments later. Okay, so that's been five minutes now. So just want to give it a good rinse in there, make sure you get everything off. And they are all water. Like I say, good rinse in there, make sure there's nothing left in that. I mean this isn't going to fall off instantly, it's not something that works that quickly. So as you can see there, there's still quite a bit of hair algae on that, um, this will focus. But hopefully that will remove it. Okay, so we'll get that back in the tank and take a look once it opens up again. Okay, so that's how I use this stuff to dip the corals. Um, it's been three days now, I think, since I've done that. I've only done it once, I've just done the single dip like I showed you in the video there, um, five minutes and that was it. So we'll take a look at how the coral looks now and I'll show you the after. Okay, so I think you'll agree that looks really good. Um, it's been a fantastic change actually. Green hair algae is completely gone. The rockwork itself actually looks quite white now, so it does look a bit out of place in the tank, but that'll colour up again soon. Um, Zoas have recovered quite well, and everything looks good. So yeah, I think I think that method of using the hydrogen peroxide to dip the corals works really well actually, and I'm, I'm really happy with it. Yeah, so if you do want to try this, um, and you want any more help or advice, or just want to get in touch with me about how I've done it, then let me know. Um, one thing I want to say, just make sure you do remember to wear your PPE with this. Um, that's quite nasty stuff. It's always can be quite nasty as well, so make sure you've got your gloves, your glasses and so on and just be careful what you do with this stuff. But yeah, overall, fantastic method. Um, I'm really impressed with it. I think it's worked really, really well and something that you guys can do quite easy as well. So I'll link the hydrogen peroxide in the description below so you guys can go and buy that. Um, and yeah, thanks very much for watching the video. So, like I've said before, if you haven't already, if you could subscribe to the channel, it would mean a lot. Also, you can get in touch with me on Instagram, uh, which is at bearded.reef. I also post videos and pictures and that on there, so you can see them. But yeah, just a massive thank you to everyone who's subscribed recently. Hope you're enjoying the content. If you haven't subscribed, if you could. And hope you're all staying safe out there. So, take care everybody. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.